Today we are converting a four foot sharp light that has fluorescent bulbs over to LED bulbs. Now there are three different types of LED bulbs. There is type A, which they call plug and play, but it's only compatible with certain ballasts. So you have to check the sheet to make sure that those tubes work with the ballast that you have in your fitting. Then we have type B which is a ballast bypass bulb or direct wire bulb. Then you have the hybrid bulb or type AB that can do the same things that an A and B can do. So today we are going to take and use the hybrid bulb. I will put a link in the description on these bulbs. Now before we start the job, we want to make sure that the electricity is disconnected. You can see this one right here plugs in and the plug is disconnected. And if yours is hardwired in, you want to turn the circuit breaker off so there's no electricity to the fixture. Alright, now let's take out the bulbs. Now we have to take off this deflector. Some are screwed on. Some have little clips. You turn them 90 degrees like this. And the deflector will come off. This is how we're going to rewire our fixture for the LED bulbs. We're going to use a double-ended connection. And we're going to remove the ballast. And then this is how we're going to rewire it right here. The live wire will go to one end of the bulbs and then the neutral will go to the other end of the bulbs. Here is the ballast right here and when I refer to tombstones it's these pieces right here that's what they are now you can leave the ballast in but I'm going to take this one out so we need to cut the wires at the ballast there's no electricity it's uh, disconnected so we can it's safe to cut the wires They use a different size nut on this end of the ballast. Okay, we'll take those bolts out of there. We're going to use a double ended connection so that means that live will go to one end, neutral to the other. So let's start on this end. We got the black live wire here and we have the four wires to go to the tombstone so they're wired directly to each one. So we got to strip those wires. We're going to connect solid wire to stranded wire. So we want the stranded wire to be a little bit longer. Oh, that's beautiful. About an eighth of an inch longer than the solid one. At four of the solid wires. And 
then we got this stranded wire. So we want to keep turning that wire nut till it bottoms out. When it starts turning the twisting the wire, you know you got it tight. <clears throat> Give a tug on it. All right. On the other end of the fixture is only three wires. What they did is they took a single wire and daisy chained it over. The three wires from this end of the light fixture does not reach our wires here. So we're going we're gonna to add a wire the same diameter as this white wire here to make a connection. Most of the time you don't have to do this. They give you enough of wires. But on this one, a little added extra step. We'll just add the wire in here. Okay, nice and tight. Okay, the wires are twisting, so we get a nice and tight, good connection. So that wasn't a bad extra step that we had to do. Now we have the same diameter wire from the wire that comes in all the way to the three wires here. Here's our connections all done. We have the black wire goes to the four wires on this end of our light fixtures. And then we have the white wire comes down here and connects to our three wires from the other end of the light fixture. Now we can put our deflector back on. And we turn those clips 90 degrees. That's back on. On the bulb, if you look closely, you can see the LED strip right here on the bulb. So we want that away from the area that we're trying to light. So we want that against the deflector. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a mark on the... see how this strip It's right in the middle of the pins here. So we're going to rotate that 180 degrees and make a mark right there. 
So we're going to do that to the other bulb too right now. Before I put the bulbs on, I'm going to put one of these warning stickers that they give you to warn people that you cannot put fluorescent bulbs in this fixture anymore. Now we can put our bulbs in. Here are the marks that we put on the bulbs that line up with the slots on the end of the tombstones. That will position the LEDs towards the back of the deflector so the light will come out into the area you want to illuminate. Now that we've got it back together we can put the power to it. Wow, that looks nice. Now we got an LED shop light. Very good. Not a bad job. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching.